Well, today's June 9th. This is what the watermelon patch is looking like. I don't know if you can hear that noise in the background. Got a generator running. I'll show you what we got going on. It is still dry. We're still getting some nice melons. But we are super dry. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. If you look back down here towards the pond, you can see we got a generator running. And down in the pond, we got a little lift pump. Got a water hose ran up here. Working on flooding some of these rows and try to help help our watermelons out. I don't know, a couple of gallons a minute we're getting. I'm gonna let it run all night. Fill the generator up, let it run as long as it will. But we have some nice melons and I don't wanna lose them. The plants are starting to wilt. Temperatures are in the high 90s during the hottest part of the day. One of my scarecrows out here trying to deter the squirrels and crows and everything else that's been getting into them. It's been a battle this year. Lack of rain has caused a lot of problems. Yeah, you see here, just shriveling up. Last year we had too much rain. So, I'll bring it down here. Show you this. But anyway, look, we do, we got some really good melons. They just need another week or two to, to finish out. Pond's down a couple of feet. Got the little sunk pump sitting down in there. generator running it's plugged into the generator it's helping us out some we'll just see in the next couple of days what happens no rain in the forecast it's just part of performing you got to make it through the good times through the bad times We'll take a look at a few other things. This is my first plant in the purple holes. And they are doing all right. Getting very close to, we actually have a few of them starting to, to turn. Not quite ready. As you can see, there's a lot of, there's a lot of peas out here. I think by next week sometime we'll be picking in here. They're still blooming and a lot of peas have set. So uh, this isn't too much of a disappointment. Hey, if you want to come help pick peas, message me. You can come have all the pea picking fun you want. Oh, that sun is...
scorching down on this okra. Boy, it is wilted back. I've been picking. It's been growing enough for me to pick some. Might need to get out here today. Goodness. Man, we need some rain. I wanted to start planting my pumpkins. I think I'm gonna start here. I can at least water them a little bit. And on this patch over here, I had some okra seed left and I put three rows in here. It is coming up. But like everything else, it needs rain. Been adding some uh, mediums to the to my beehives. Nectar flow's just about over. Give them a few more weeks, and I'll pull them off and harvest the honey. One thing that's done well for us this year are our blackberries. Got a really good size to them. Good taste, good flavor. Man, a couple of days behind on my picking. Anyway, I'm gonna put this camera down, pick some of these berries. Right, we had a little surprise this morning. Woke up to these sunflowers blooming out. A little bit of rain would go a long way with them, but it is what it is. You know, God's in control of all this. I'm not worried about it. We're gonna make it through it one way or another. Look, I thank you for all of you out there that follow our channel and watch our videos it means a lot it's just something i like to do sharing what happens out here on the hill once again thank you for watching until next time